Hey everybody, how's it going? Happy Tuesday. And, uh, well, just as I thought, I'm not going to have many more palm videos to do inside until the spring. Because uh, all I have is seedlings and, and, well, and some larger palms. But I thought to myself, you know what, here's a cool video. It's really interesting. And uh, it's about this weirdo. This is one of my oldest seedlings. Uh, it's two years old next month. So it's pretty much around two years old since I grew it from seed. Um, this was one of the one of the seeds and seedlings that kind of got me more interested into uh, growing palms from seed, as opposed to just buying them from some dude who sells them out of the out of the uh, on the internet or at the nursery. So why does this thing look so crazy? See how it's got these crazy long fronds there, and then it's got these stubby ones right there. See how stubby they are? And it's super long. Well, what this is, video is about is, excuse me again, indoor palm growing versus outdoor palm growing. So this is a Phoenix Dactylifera, a date palm. It's actually, I ate the, the medjooled, medjooled date that you could buy at the grocery store. So I have a bunch of these guys. Some I've given away. I have a couple left. And it is three feet tall from the soil up and over three and a half feet tall from the base up. So it is the largest seedling uh, I have out of everything in my collection, uh, aside from my big, my big guys. So <clears throat> talking about indoor versus outdoor growing, obviously we have, and it's actually good perspective down here. That's a T5 uh, fluorescent plant grow light. These spotlights up there, which you can barely see, they are LED plant grow lights. <clears throat> These are my smaller seedlings. Kind of cool to see those X's. Those are all LED plant grow lights with veg and bloom all in one. And then ugh, behind me on my one gallon guys is a T5 uh, plant grow light. So they all kind of do the same thing. But unfortunately, <clears throat> unless you buy really crazy expensive lighting, um, thousand waters, uh, stuff like that. Lots of high voltage stuff. Uh, like these guys, I think these are like 50 watts a piece. And those guys up there are something very similar. No, they, they do get pretty hot. They are warm, not as hot as regular bulbs. And the, <coughs> they do help to keep this warm room. But uh, one thing they do not do, that you cannot stimulate nature. You cannot stimulate the sun. So these lights, and these ones, they're good to help keep the palms growing. They do give the palms nutrition and some spectrums that they need. However, they do not give them their full needs. Now, some seedlings do not need full sun. Some of them don't want full sun, otherwise they fry. It's part of their nature to be understory palms, you know, under the, the, the uh, other trees and palms and other things like that in the forest. So um, these are a good combination of lights uh, to... Just keep keep everything healthy uh, and green and growing. But some palms like this guy here, uh, we have some issues. So what we have here is we have three stages of this palm's life over the last two years. And it basically tells a story of what this palm's been doing. So <clears throat> this palm was originally under these lights when it was a baby in little cups, just like these, okay? So... <clears throat> Here is, and it has all its original fronds. I haven't cut anything off. This big bad boy here, that was frond number one. This is frond number two. This is frond number three. I, you notice how they get a little bit thicker as things happen. And then all of a sudden, four and five get thick. So here's what happened. These three fronds right here, these three leaves, these are stretched lights that were grown indoors when it was a baby from uh because the first year i had this palm i did not take it outside and i took it outside last summer um so those are the first three fronds that grew under artificial lighting then i just magically took it outside put it on my special table with all the rest of my seedlings and put it in direct full sun summer heat humidity winds whatever you get <clears throat> so all of a sudden this is what happens when you put the palm under direct sunlight. It says, holy crap, I don't need to stretch like this 
because these guys here were stretching to the LED light. Now you got, you know, because I have so many seedlings, you can't just put the light down all the way. You gotta have them up high enough because some of the seedlings I have here uh, need more height. And so you'd say to yourself, well, what are you gonna do? Well, these things, because the lighting is not as intense as the sun, they will grow into the light. They'll poke it and they'll grow like this and they'll fold underneath and they'll take everything they can get and it won't even burn it. Look at that, there's one little smidgen of brown tipping over two years. Everything else is, is beautiful. So this is an indoor artificial grown frond. And these two are outdoors in full sun. So this palm, sorry, and there's another one too. Oh, my bad. So this palm put out three fronds last summer from, and you, I, I, I don't take my palms out until like uh, end of May usually, like my ceilings, um, just because it's nice and warm in this room and they don't need to necessarily go outside. So anyway, three full fronds grown in the summer under full lighting. And as you can see, they're really stubby. And then all of a sudden you get these massive ones. These are two feet, three feet tall fronds. And as you can see, the palm is going pinnate now, which is good. It's going to start to get some palmy and tropical look. Same as this one. Now this is another interesting one. This one is not palmate and it has a smidgen of it and it's stretched as well. So this palm has got all kinds of stories about being indoors, being outdoors, full sun and artificial lighting. So this is what will happen with some palms when you bring them and grow them inside, unless you give them insane light. Uh, when you have a, 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 a container ranch like myself, and you have so many palms, you can't just buy a light for each palm unless it's a big guy that have their own lights. Other than that, they have to share. So unfortunately, these palms don't get exactly what they need. So this date palm goes in this collection here. As you can see, this is a foxtail right here. It's almost hit the light. I just turn them so they grow away from it. Um, so the T5 does give them nutrition, but the palms do stretch a little bit. Uh, and what I've found so far is the date palms, and actually look at these. Look at how much stretch is on these baby foxtails. Why? Because this is one little light and uh, they're, they're, they're stretching for it. So these are gonna end up being some weird palms, but once they go outside in the full sun, uh, the next fronds will be a little bit different than what you see here. So anyway, um, that's the difference between indoor and outdoor uh, lighting and palm growing and what you can see and why this this palm looks so strange. So uh, in another another frond, it will be outside for the summer and it will start to be a little bit more stubbier and more pinnate. And eventually, it's crazy though, not one frond is that in this thing. It's absolutely perfectly healthy. So, and that's the reason why I have it in that pot is this is my keeper out of all the ones I have. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe anyway if you guys are into that kind of stuff and uh and just remember like uh, this thing gets the regular watering and fertilizer like anything else coca core and perlite soil mix good drainage and yeah go to your local supermarket pick up some edgel dates eat them put them in the baggie germinate them and two years later you have a three and a half foot tall uh baby palm tree okay guys take care see you bye